What up everyone, welcome back. Oh yeah, hey. What up everyone and welcome back to The Binding of Lordran. Um, I'm on fire with the recordings today. Uh, I literally just finished the previous episode. That's why I kind of forgot that I should, you know, say hi. Since I got the face cam going. The thing is, um, I kind of have a, f a feeling that, oh shit that um next week is gonna be crazy uh it's the last week i'm working before christmas so i'm going to you know pre-record because who knows what the hell is gonna happen temedy stored <laughs> ah that that good old temedy stored um yeah i already know things are gonna be kind of crazy um Seriously, it doesn't give you enough? Fuck. Well, that's kind of... That's kind of shitty, isn't it? It's all good. The mace in general is a fairly good weapon, I'd say. So, we can go. We can go. As you know, in the last episode, I restarted the playthrough because... It's just I just got a bad seed. The seed is weak, you know. Unlike the seed is strong in Game of Thrones. God, when Game of Thrones was actually good. Um. What the f fuck is that? Are you kidding? Okay. This is going to be an interesting run. I can already tell. I can already tell. Can I just finish my point game? Thank you. My point was that I yeah, I got a shitty seed and I felt like restarting because you know, it's like the binding of Isaac. Sometimes the run just don't work out. I thought that said troglodyte bracelet. Um that's a nice word, troglodyte. Yeah, there is no way that the boss is here, right? That would be way too easy. I mean, it's been done before. What was it? The Undead Parish, right? That I went through once and it was like... Hella fucking easy. It is! Gwyn Tartarus. Or Tautrus. Guy, I'm not a fan of this boss. All right then. Glad we still got the pretty epic. Oh god, this. <sighs> Seriously? Thank you. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of HP at least. Shit, bitch. Fuck. Okay. I thought he was going. I think I have moss, right? I think I do. Watch this inventory management. Yeah, I do. Have you ever seen inventory management like this? I don't think so. Fuck. Is, would it actually be possible to avoid that? At least this guy is taking a lot of damage. Even though it's mad hard to hit. Get out! This could be it. Come on. I think we're good. Okay, that wasn't actually as difficult as it looked. At the start. I, I thought it was going to be a lot more annoying. Listen, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to progress just yet. Because I still want to explore this area. Um, 
just a little bit just a little bit even though oh yeah I don't know why I have such a hard time navigating this place so anyways yeah I'm gonna do some recording ahead because I don't know how my stream schedule is gonna be my stream schedule has been fucked up again as it always is um there is never like a straight week where something doesn't screw with it just unfortunate but you know what can you do what can you do this guy is straight up t-posing he is don't even lie well you know it's a little bit different than it used to be certainly when I was it's not even the my job in particular because well I mean it's my job but you know I worked at this place since I started streaming but just sometimes you know there's these crazy periods with COVID especially um, it really kinda screwed quite a bit with the work dynamic I don't know how you guys are feeling but I don't know, it's just different, it's just different, and I'm noticing a lot of things, you know, that one of the th biggest things is that, oh, shit, oh wait, I'm saved, one of the things, for example, is I catch myself working, sometimes for a lot longer, um, because I'm mostly working from home, I go into the office, like, once a week, because we still can, and of course, it puts another one of these guys here. Um, but we, we're still allowed to go in. Um, but, you know, especially when you're working at home, that kind of <clears throat> dynamic of, you know, I'm done with work for today, pack up my things, get my stuff, and go home. Uh, that doesn't exist, you know. And... That screws with things, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not that I'm like bitching or anything like that, you know. I fully recognize that there's like about a list of a million people who have it worse than me. But still, you know, it's, uh, it's still something we gotta talk about. For some reason, I'm pissed about that. I knew it was going to happen, and it still happened. But anyways, um, I will be able to stream tomorrow, for sure. Which is Tuesday. And then... The boy is done with work on Friday. Unfortunately, not forever. I haven't done... I haven't, like, won the lottery or anything like that. Believe me, I wouldn't be, not that I wouldn't be doing YouTube, but I, I don't know what I'd do. i definitely make my channel ad-free. So if one day you look at my videos and I'm only wearing uh, Gucci shirts and the videos are ad free I probably won the lottery those are gonna be the two telltale signs oh fuck don't even get near this burping motherfucker I don't tell me that it goes faster as well because of the weird animation thing alright Dosit's giant sword. 30. It looks like... What moveset would that have? I don't know. I'm keeping that weapon in the back of my mind. I'm going to be honest with you. 
Um, it's gonna be there. Something is like making weird giant footstep noises. I don't like it. The question is where the fuck do you progress from here? Yep, okay, cool. Never mind. Oh shit, I didn't start the timer, did I? I have a general idea of how long I've been going. We got Ash Lake again. I cannot believe that it leaves you poisoned. Leaves you poisoned like a bitch. That bitch is gonna be hella clippy. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. You're not allowed to create a bonfire here. Here, and it should be okay. This area is short, so I know about it fairly well. There's no reason not to use these because I'm gonna be pumping myself up. I feel like this this run could go well if I can use that great sword. Trade souls for moats. We are going for a mode of faith so that I can use my shit. And hella modes of strength. Nice. Always nice to have some backup. The question is, how much do I need for this weapon to two-hand it? So it's 30 strength, so that should be 25. I, I never know the calculation, because it's like... One... I don't remember. It's two-thirds, maybe? No, it's a little bit more than that. Whatever. Man, the the best thing about... Nice. The best thing about this playthrough, honestly, is that I actually get to see Vagrants and fight them. Because I think in all my playthroughs I've seen a Vagrant maybe... I think once. I think I once got a Vagrant, naturally. I hate how these guys don't make any sound effects. So yeah, if you want you can get your Vagrant fix uh, by playing this mod. I wonder if my if you can hear my dog from outside. You know the routine. There is no video where my dog doesn't bark into the recording. Or stream for that matter as well. But you know. It's part of the doggo life. Okay, this miracle actually does what it's meant to do. That was a very disappointing fight, in that I got jack shit, basically. You can definitely tell, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can definitely tell this is a side area. And I'm never gonna ever say again. That these fools are inaccurate. Just oh. I've not. I've I cannot die normally. That's what I've noticed. I cannot die normally. If I die in this playthrough, you can one hundred percent guarantee. That it's a dumbass death. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I like the idea of this area in general, but... 
I feel like it's not executed in the best way. Like again, this concept is hella cool. It's just it's too wide open, you know, there's not much in it. In the I'm talking about the base game, not come on. Talking about the base game, not this version, but this version as well, you know. The lore of this place is very interesting, though. Uh oh. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's not. Let's not get too hasty. So, yeah, okay. It's better to wait. Oh, Fucking. <laughs> I don't think I have that option turned off this yeah okay that's much better I forgot that that's on by default in the PC version and I think in the console version as well yeah okay can't believe it took me this long to realize that So what that is, is the camera is no longer gonna whip around on the wall and screw you. I don't know why it's even on by default, it just screws with things. Like, seriously. It's like fucking release check-in, uh, Moron Combat. Like Moron Combat 11. Even in Moron Combat 11, release check is turned on by default. And it's just like, oh, uh, why? <laughs> He's on the moon. I wonder what that red thing is. Some red phantom enemy, but... I'm trying to figure out what. This is gonna annoy me, I can already tell. Oh shit! Is this ass uncovered or... Okay, this is ass uncovered. That's the one we want to fight. Get that booty. Okay, the mace is fairly effective against this enemy anyways. Oh, hey. It's worse in every single way. Excellent. What? Oh, it's a giant... I swear, don't tell me that from this angle, I just realized that it's a rat, but don't tell me that from this angle it doesn't look exactly like that skull. I honestly thought that was a rat phantom skull and I'm like, what the fuck? That's impossible. Turns out it is impossible. God, that... <laughs> Thank fuck friendly fire is on... <laughs> <laughs> I like how it just like slowly floats over the the battlefield. God the tracking. Shit, heal. Thank you. I got very lucky that I didn't get hit there. I feel like I'm not gonna get as lucky now. Yep. How am I gonna loot this corpse? God, this is stupid. This does look much better on PC though. I'm just, it's so tempting. Nope. You know the deal with unnecessary risk. We ain't taking it. Not happening. Fuck, Painting Guardian. And a sniper. And somehow this guy's back on this side. The Hydra, I mean. I'll loot them corpses. 
And I think we'll make a swift exit. Maybe I'm gonna make a swift exit now because I don't trust myself not to die. Just sprint, sprint, sprint. And we reach our final adversary, this rat. They really like these rats. Excellent job. AI coming through once again. Alright. So far, this run has went fairly well. Four levels is, I think, the farthest I got. Come on! Seriously? You have got to be shitting me. You have... You have got to be shitting me. What is this spawn? What is this spawn? I call... I call bullshit on that. Seriously? What the... Just let me put the bonfire down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's get some vitality too. That spawn is the shittiest spawn. I've ever gotten, I think. No reason. Again, no reason not to use these moats. Please tell me I can two hand it now. Fuck yeah. And what? I can still. Where are you, bitches? Hell the fuck. Yeah. Oh, this is more like it. The great sword with the spear move set. Get on my level now. Get on my level. Oh, okay. They're gonna get on my level if I'm not careful. This might be the best thing ever. This might actually be the best. Um, hello? That's very strange. Probably like a glitched item or something. Do you know how happy I am? I'm so fucking happy right about now. But it doesn't have... Okay, what two-handed moveset does it have? It's the fucking... That's the Calamite sword, right? I think so. Okay, do we have to go this way or that way down? I think this way. I think this might be, if I don't have some dumbass deaths, it's very possible I will have dumbass deaths. I think this is a contender for a winning run. For sure. I mean, this was if this was Isaac, again, this would be a game winning. A game winning thingy item. I'm getting them strength modes. I'm almost at one handed. Should I have? It's not gonna help me much, but the idea is there.
Oh fuck. Used tarnished key. How first of all, how the hell did I have a tarnished key? Second of all. What the fuck in general? Are you f them iframes though? Man, I would like iframes like that. I'm so happy now. This run is going to be me absolutely shrecking things, hopefully. Just got to get the weapon. So that I can one-hand it. And then the only thing I got to do is... <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, because it's counter damage too, because it's a spear, right? The spears deal increased counter damage. Straw home burst. My favorite. Man, do they like these like crossbow motherfuckers. Must be like a common enemy. Okay, I think I have enough to level up once again with the boy Andre. Andre 3000. Yeah. This weapon is light as well because I think it uses the spear stats. Right? That's the only thing I can think of. But the great sword, whatever. It's just good all around. Let's get a mode of strength and the mode of endurance. Oh wait, it's 30. Shit. Why did I think it was 25? Whatever. At this point, I'm not like overly concerned. Nice. Is what I like to see. This is the type of shit I like to see. Okay, that's closed off. No, it's not. It just looked like looked like it would be closed off. Strange. But then again, like, what the... This is hella weird noises. Going all over the place. Because... My idea would be that you'd need to go to... Where the butterfly is. But apparently not. How long have I been going? Fairly long time, I think. But this, I'm like too engrossed right about now. Because I really do feel, I feel this in my soul. I don't know how long this game goes up to or like how many areas there are in total. I'm assuming you go through the game regularly. Let's see. It's the only possibility I can think of. Oh, hell yeah. That is a hell yeah item. Stupid not to go with that. Now the question is, is this gonna be an exit or a boss? gonna find out. I will go back regardless to the butterfly area as well to check that out. Oh fuck. Dark Loba. Oh come on. The reference. I feel like I'm cheating. 
Sorry, Dark Low Boss. You may be dark, but you... You cannot bow before the power of the Tossin's Greatsword. The Tossin Greatsword is my favorite weapon. Okay, so we can depart. I'm curious about the butterfly area though, which means I do gotta run all the way back and my nose is itching. Hmm. Man is attempting to edit this out. But you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna talk through it. Yeah, I was really thinking, not re like a minute ago, how long this game could potentially, or this mod is potentially. I'm again. I'm assuming you have to go through all the areas in just in random order. So we still got plenty to go. And five deaths is not a lot, especially when you've died two times. But we'll see. But we'll see. It might not be all of them. What? I knew something was making weird noises. You know, like, this is... I consider this to be a roguelike. Uh, which means... Just like with any other roguelike, the... The start and end of it is flexible, as in, when I feel like I don't want to do any more runs, I'll, no, I'll won't do any more runs. I'll won't do any more runs, that made a lot of sense. Uh, I think we need two, right? Give it to me. And it still has... It kept most of the spear move set. This is too good. This is too good. It shouldn't even be fair. I wish I had this in the base game. I would be owning shit with this game, with this weapon in the base game. What about that? It's just straight up the Moonlight Butterfly? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be some twist. I guess you can't really... I mean, now that I think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. Because you can't exactly put... Oh, fuck. You can't exactly put any other boss here, can you? Because this is a unique area. Can you just please land so we can get this over with? Um, am I stoned? I think I'm stoned. I gotta be. Is this bitch ain't landing. Okay, now. Gonna go for it. Yeah. Thank fuck I went for it. Nice, a refined ember. Now here is the question. If I depart through here, or if I depart through Sif, are they gonna take me to different places? I don't know. Can you even depart? You can't depart from here. I gotta walk all the way back to the safe area, right? I think I do. Well, that's gonna be the... 
terminus of this episode. Once I get back, because I want to see what the next area is. Well, listen, we walked plenty, or maybe it's this way. God, that would have been nice if I could have just departed from right there. I would have enjoyed that quite a bit. But no. So again, yeah, this is um just gonna be like a go as long as I can type playthrough. And then I'm well I no actually I have ideas. I have ideas on what's gonna be nice. Not that I'm like anywhere close to being done with this, believe me. Because I'm actually enjoying this. You know, Kingsfield was fun. Kingsfield too. But it was like fun for about the first maybe hour. That's about it. I find it with uh, quite a lot of these old games. You know, the ones that are... And maybe this is a shitty thing to say. You know, the games that are like not from my childhood... I tend to find that I get bored with most of them. Maybe my like ADHD brain is, it just wants new games, you know, flashy particle effects. Like the new Demon Souls, man, I wish I had the new Demon Souls. 60 days, hopefully, hopefully 60 days. I'm counting down, you know. At this point, I'd be stupid to buy from a scalper. What I'm talking about there is people say that there's. It's gonna take about 60 days. Holy shit. End of February for PS stocks to normalize. See, the issue is that aside from Demon Souls. There ain't really much else. Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, no, no. That would have been too hopeful, right? That aside from Demon Souls, there ain't really much else on PS5 at the moment, honestly. Cyberpunk, maybe, but Cyberpunk is definitely I've talked about this on stream that Cyberpunk for me is 100% one of those games where I'll buy the ultimate edition when it comes out in like 8 months time. Well, let's just put it in here. I'm ex I'm excited about that game. I I like the idea of it, but I feel like it needs so much work before it's going to be fully viable. I mean, it basically doesn't work on PS4 and Xbox One, which is kind of shitty when you think about it. I'm hella gonna repair. I'm so gonna be so careful with these. And let's buy a mode of vitality, which I'm gonna use now because I'll forget. Yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I am really feeling positive about this run. So let's kindle and let me go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Lordran. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And peace out tomorrow, maybe on stream? Tomorrow? Tuesday, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Goodbye.